Good evening. It was one year ago today that Russian forces invaded Ukraine in an unprovoked attack. Today, Ukrainians around the world and here at home are marking the occasion, gathering in solidarity with hope for a peaceful future ahead. We begin tonight in Toronto, where thousands gathered for Solidarity March for Ukraine. All of us remember where we were this time a year ago when we got the awful news and all of a sudden even getting calls from friends and family back home. Uh, and the horror that we win witnessed over the last year, the pure genocide. Thousands gathering at Young Dundas Square for a solidarity march for Ukraine. I came here today because I can be with my parents right now. Sorry. Uh, they are still in Ukraine and I just want to support my people, support my nation, because I think they are really brave. A portion of Young Street was blocked off as a sea of people draped in blue and yellow marched to Nathan Phillips Square. This is part of a global show of support that saw similar rallies held in 300 other cities. What are your thoughts seeing all these people here today? It's wonderful. It's amazing to see the Ukrainian community gather, not just Ukrainian Canadians like myself, but people from Ukraine as well. At the same time, we're so hopeful to see how resilient Ukraine and Ukrainians have been. Um, they've pushed them out, out of Kyiv. They've pushed out the Russian military out of Kherson in the south. They pushed them out of Kharkiv. So now it's just a matter of time. Dignitaries, including Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, were in attendance, reassuring Ukrainians that Canada will continue to support Ukraine until the war is over. When Vladimir Putin launched his war of aggression, he thought it'd be over in a few days. But he underestimated the courage and strength of Ukrainians. He underestimated the determination of those among us in the West and around the world who stand with Ukraine. We're very thankful for everything that Canada has done, the province, um, but, and we, uh, we're just looking to hear for more support, particularly from a military point of view. I know today they made an announcement of an additional four Leopard tanks um, and some additional uh, arms, which is fantastic. It's exactly what Ukraine needs now and not in the future.